Well, this is new video you are seeing tonight of three suspects charged with a hate crime, accused of burning crosses into the lawn of an Orleans County mosque. Two of these suspects could be granted youthful offender status, which is why we've chosen to blur their faces. And tonight, mosque leaders telling us even though the defendants are young, the serious charges match the crime. More now from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Katie Morris. It goes with the territory. You know, they committed a hate crime, and that's exactly what they got charged with. Members of the World Sufi thing. Foundation Mosque uh, is standing is behind the Orleans County District Attorney's decision to charge the three young men who police say burned crosses into the mosque's lawn with a hate crime. It's not ignorant. Uh, you chose to come up uh, onto someone else's property. You chose to bring gasoline with you. You chose to mark it with uh, uh, a symbol that's very precious to everybody. And you chose to make it uh, a crime that was uh, scary to everybody. Those three men appeared in court for the first time this afternoon. 20-year-old Jared Beemans and two others whose names were not mentioned because of their ages face charges of harassment, arson, and trespassing. They also face a criminal mischief charge, the most serious of them all. Because it's been classified as a hate crime here, the potential um, uh, sentence is one third to four years in state prison. The men were released to their parents tonight and no bail was set. The district attorney saying they and their families have been cooperative in the investigation. It just seems to be a misunderstanding uh, as to uh, the religion that's practiced there and, and their practices and uh, hopefully that will be overcome by the community and this stuff will stop. A judge told the men they're not allowed on mosque property or near congregation members right now. Mosque leaders say they're prepared to let the legal system play out. Once that's done and, and when they want to apologize, of course, you know, we are a religious community. We will accept an apology, but, you know, there are ramifications for what the, the crime that they've committed. And this isn't the first time the small town mosque has been targeted. Five years ago, five teens were arrested after a shotgun was fired outside the mosque as worshipers were leaving a service. Still, members say they love that community and they have no plans to leave. Katie Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.